Watch your back, craftsmen, carpenters, and cooks, because 3D printers are looking to take your jobs. It seems like out of nowhere, 3D printing has become the latest tech to take the world by storm. Whether it's the 3D printer DIY kit from MakerBot, the Form 1 printer from Kickstarter, or online 3D printing stores like Shapeways, everyone is jumping on the 3D bandwagon, including the granddaddy of cell phone companies, Nokia. Last weekend, Nokia made 3D printing development kits available for its Lumia 820 phone, allowing anyone with access to a 3D printer to create their own customizable case for the phone. Nokia even hinted on their blog that this was just the start of customizable 3D printed designs for their phones, so who knows, maybe this will jumpstart a second renaissance for customizable Nokia covers. Never forget. And while 3D printed phones are cool, a 3D printed house is even cooler. A Dutch architecture firm plans on using the giant D-shaped 3D printers to create an actual building. The building, based on a Mobius strip, has an infinite looping shape and will be printed in small sections using a special mixture of sand and a binding agent to create a surface that is supposedly just as solid as marble. The team behind the building estimate it will take about 18 months to complete, and while there's no word on how much the building will cost to make, if you have an extra 350,000 bucks laying around, you could print yourself an actual edible hamburger. Yes, 3D printers can now make meat. Startup company Modern Meadow is working on a 3D bioprinting technology that doesn't print with plastic, but biological materials. The process starts by printing stem cells, or what they call bioink, onto customizable molds that then naturally fuse to create a living tissue. And while bioprinted tissues and body parts are nothing new, Modern Meadow's goal is to create post-mortem tissue specifically for human consumption. But their biggest challenge, aside from a hefty price tag for a single patty, coming up with a name for their artificial meat. Just don't call it Soylent Green. Silent Green is people! Are you looking forward to taking a bite out of a 3D printed burger inside your 3D printed house while talking on your 3D printed phone? Let us know in the comments below. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying maybe those vegetarians are really onto something.